Happy Monday, Trade Hackers. Today's Monday, December 30th. Welcome to today's update. And would you believe it? The market is actually going down. Feels like the market's crashing, doesn't it? I mean, the S&P is down a half percent. Nothing. I mean, <laughs> no big deal at all. But yet, after this huge grind higher that we've seen, it absolutely just feels like the market is crashing when in reality it's just a tiny, tiny little blip. So good stuff though, helping out with the implied volatility expansion, creating some opportunities for us. As you can see on the S&P, you know, IV percentile up to 50 now, which we haven't seen in a few weeks. So that's always good. Uh, so what's driving this thing? Not necessarily driving it, but some of the big movers today, Roku, uh, Roku's down 6%. So big move there. We have a, we've got a position on there and maybe we'll look to add one tomorrow looking at ducks and reverse iron ducks on Roku. Other big movers today, Tesla, a little move down a few percent there. And, and also our friend Shopify. So these are some of the biggest movers today to the downside down a few percent in Shopify as well. So We've got positions in all of these and may look to add to them depending on what uh, what presents itself. The other thing I wanted to mention to you today, and one thing that I've really been looking at and, and kind of tracking, I always look at the relationship, but I'm even tracking it a little bit closer, and that is the relationship to the moves in the market relative to moves in the VIX, V-I-X. And so what you'll notice here is the S&P is only down a half percent, yet the VIX is up 11%. What you'll see on average, okay, this is an average, a very wide average, is that for every percent down that the S&P 500 moves, on average, the VIX will go up by about 9%, okay? But today, we're only down a half percent, and the VIX is up over 11%. So what does that mean? Well, who knows, right? You can't determine market direction just based on that. But one of the things that I've been doing is testing a new strategy utilizing the VIX. And it's going to be an unbelievable complement to the other strategies that we use. That's going to be rolling out in the next month or two. Uh, but what's interesting is when the VIX is as low as it is, so right, it's been around in the 11 and a half, 12 handle for, for quite a while here. And so what happens is any little movement down in the S&P 500 creates a big upside movement in the VIX. And so when the S&P is lower, that average ends up being closer to, you know, 20% on the upside of the VIX. So if the VIX is low and the S&P moves down a percent, you're looking at closer to like a 20% up move in the VIX. Whereas if the VIX were already at 20, let's say, and the S&P moved down 1%, it would probably only move up six or seven percent in that day. Okay, so there's a relationship to the level of where the VIX is and what percentage it moves based on the movement of the S&P. Remember, the VIX is priced off of the options of the SPX, so it's a very direct inverse correlation. But the amount of movement isn't percent by percent. So kind of start looking at those percentages as the S&P moves. What does the VIX do? and vice versa, because that's going to be important when we roll out this new strategy. Everybody have a great evening and we'll talk to you tomorrow.